Alexander the Great and Apollyon, the beast from the pit, from the book of Revelation. It seems that they are, in fact, the same person. So we could be seeing the return of Alexander the Great as the beast from the pit, from the book of Revelation, as per what we have been told by Jesus Christ himself. Now, are they the same person? Is there any evidence? Well, let's just take a look at um, what the Bible says. In, in the book of Revelation, we're told in Revelation 9-11 that, um, that there will be a return of a beast, a beast from the pit, and his name is Apollyon, and he is the destroyer. Now, Apollyon is the son of Zeus, but Zeus is a mythological character, isn't he? The king of the gods, he didn't exist, or did he? In the Holy Bible, book of Revelation, in Revelation 2.12 to 2.13, God says to the angel of the church in Pergamum, write, these are the words of him who has the sharp double-edged sword. I know where you live, where Satan has his throne. And in Pergamon, in Turkey, yeah, um, there's an amazing structure called the Altar of Zeus, which is now um, in a German museum, in the Pergamon Museum. So, is that coincidental? The Bible, which is the Word of God, the absolute truth, states that Apollyon is a real person. He is the destroyer who's returning, and that he is a beast. He's only half human. And he is the son of Zeus, which confirms that Zeus is real, and that he is Satan, and that his throne, his altar, is in Pergamon. Is there any further evidence? Yes, there is. In the book of Jeremiah, it says how angry God is that people baking cakes to the Queen of Heaven. Who's the Queen of Heaven? The Queen of Heaven is Hera, a Nephilim giantess, and she is the wife of Zeus. So, the altar of Zeus is mentioned in the Bible as his throne. The son of Zeus, Apollyon, is mentioned in the Bible in Revelation 9-11. The wife of Zeus is in the book of Jeremiah. So it seems that Zeus is real and he is the father of the destroyer, but this gets even deeper because Alexander the Great the undefeated warrior. He's also the son of Zeus. And it's an accepted historical fact that Alexander the Great was a real person, whether you believe he was the son of Zeus or not. He was real. Apollyon is called Sol Invictus, the undefeated son, but Alexander the Great was undefeated. So Zeus had two undefeated sons, it seems, because they were both his sons. So you would have to accept, at worst, that Alexander the Great and Apollyon, the destroyer, are at least brothers, if not the same person. Is there any evidence to suggest that they're the same person? Yes. Alexander the Great um, had the sun disc, the Helios, the Apollyon disc, as his symbol. And in one of his battles, it said that uh, light discs, sun discs basically, appeared in the sky and helped him. Is there any further evidence? Yes, there is. Alexander the Great died at 32 years of age. And there are no statues of Alexander the Great beyond that age. And there are no statues of Apollyon, Apollo, the destroyer, after that age either. And they do look very similar. Okay, you could say maybe they're brothers, but... There's evidence that they're the same person, and there's a lack of evidence that, that they are different people. They seem to be exactly the same person. And there's also a bust of Alexander the Great um, depicted as Helios. But why would you depict um, someone as someone else? Why would you need to depict Alexander the Great, the greatest warrior who ever lived, um, as Helios? Helios is Apollyon. They're the same person. Helios means son. So again, there's further evidence that they are the same person. So it looks like um, we're going to have Alexander the Great reappear as Apollyon, the destroyer, the beast from the pit from the book of Revelation. But what will we call him? Will we call him Apollyon? Will we call him Helios? Or will we call him 
Alexander the Great. We'll call him whatever we're forced to call him, but one thing's for sure, it seems that all of the history that we have been taught uh, in schools by uh, pagan Masonic witches is all lies. There is a huge amount of evidence that Alexander the Great and Apollyon the Destroyer are one and the same person. 